Good morning. Sorry for that delay. This is Trixie here for Down Under Derby. Welcome to track one, day one of the East Coast Invitational. We have the Rogue Scholars up against the Southside Derby Dolls, The Empire. And we have Kate as your lead jammer for the Rogue Scholars, followed closely behind by number two, one, two. That is, I believe that's Bad or Wolf. I don't have a team list in front of me, so there's going to be some fun guessing involved with this. The jam has been called off by Kaytality. One point, though, picked up by the Southside Derby Dolls. They sit on 49. That may change in a second. I'm not sure. They sit on 49 to the Rogue Scholars, 45. A very close game indeed. Stepping up to the line, we see... Uh, people who are slightly further away than my line of sight. Getting some love from the audience over there. That is the whistle to start this jam. We have Hot Blocks jamming for the Rogue Scholars. And we have Hypes number 217 for the Southside Derby Dolls. Hot Blocks being sent to the penalty box. And we have Hypes on a power jam as your lead jammer. Both teams walling up, getting ready to keep Hypes at bay. We've got some fantastic offense by Southside. That is a penalty though, a cut track for Thunder, but. Oh, a beautiful duck under the arm of number nine, nine. That is Cross Wencher. And Hypes skates her way through, picking up another few points. Hot blocks back on the track with the star stashed though. Hypes coming around for another pass. Oh, a beautiful sh shoulder there from Bailey Edge, who is being sent off for that. It was effective, though. She has managed to keep Hot Blocks back. That is Sugar Hits bringing uh, Hot Blocks even further back. There is the light, though. She has made it out, and Sugar Hits has recycled her once again. Looks like I did speak to soon she is out though and the VDL crowd has gone wild. Hypes calling off the jam. Picking up another three points in that last few seconds. Five seconds has been called. That is our beautiful new graphic there. Just to remind you that this is the East Coast Invitational Day 1, Track 1, uh, brought to you by Skate Project, Butter Bearings, and Maitland Roller Derby League. We have jamming for the Rogue Scholars. I've just been given names. This is so handy. That is number 29, Poonie, for the Rogue Scholars. It looks like the Empire Jammer was sent to the penalty box. That is Bad Wolf, number 59. Poonie comes around for a nice grand slam. Bad Wolf, though, out of the pack. She ducks past Katality and she makes it through. Poonie calling it off. Some very dramatic gestures there. Picking up a couple of points, though. Uh, 52 now for the Rogue Scholars. 58 for the Empire. We have just over seven minutes left in this half. Quite an exciting first game for this tournament. We have got number 212, Joe, stepping up to the line for the Empire. 
up against a very, very tall skater who I will tell you the name of in a moment. That is number 1618, Brazen Ivy, who is your lead jammer for the Rogue Scholars. Joe comes around though. She is fast. Rose and Ivy calling it off. Not picking up any points for either team there. We've got some of our fantastic merch stalls. If you are here on the beautiful Central Coast this weekend, come on down and check out some of our fantastic merch stalls. You can pick up some things so that every day of the week can be Derby Shirt Day. I assure you the Southside shirts make amazing pajamas. We've got Katality struggling against the three wall there of Empire Blockers. She goes down. She takes down number three, two with her. That is Bob and Weaver. She picks herself back up. She is held back by Hissy Fit. And Intravenous to Milo. Intravenous to Milo, might I add. This is her debut tournament, her second ever game. And I don't think I've ever been so excited to see someone skate. Intravenous de Milo is one of the, she's the heart and soul of Southside and I, I adore her. My biggest fan, that is two points there picked up for the Empire, bringing them to a nice 60. We have uh, Poonie stepping up to the line, up against number 212, Joe. That was just some whistle bleed, I think, but no one seems to have got that. Their five seconds has been called. Joe is stuck behind the hips of Bob and Weaver and Fast and the Furiosa. She makes her way through. She is your lead jammer. Poonie though coming up against Lady Rex. She makes the hurt. She skates past the butt of Thunder Butt. And keeps on going. The last line of the fence there. That was the pivot for the Rogue Scholars trying to keep Joe at bay, but she does make it through. There has been a star pass, though I will tell you the name of that pivot. That is Half Bloody Princess, number four, nine. Five. Uh, she puts on the star for the Rogue Scholars and comes around on her initial four more points though, picked up by Joe. The score now sits 69 to 52. She calls off the jam. And everyone keeps skating because that's what we do in Derby. Fatality lining up on the jammer line for the Rogue Scholar. It looks like we might be seeing an official timeout. The five seconds has been called and we have an official timeout or review. We will find out by the hand gestures in one second. We've got a team timeout called by the Empire. this team time out we'd like to thank our sponsors for the weekend down under derby tv is brought to you by skate project better bearings and slow motion replay is brought to you by the maitland roller derby league we would like to say a huge thank you to all of these sponsors without them coverage could not be possible we've got bams stepping up to the line for the Empire 
up against someone who is standing directly behind Border Patrol, who's looking very swish. That is Katality for the Rogue Scholars, your team captain for this game, but it is Bionic Bambi who comes out as lead jammer. There is some jammer on jammer action here. Katality takes the lead in that last second there and Bam says no, no, and calls it off. High fives all around from the skaters there. We've got the half bloody princess up against Joe for the empire. We have just over three minutes left. Sorry, just under three minutes left in this half. And then I'm gonna go get me some coffee. Half Bloody Princess makes it past Sugar Hits, who takes a bit of a tumble. She picks herself right back up. But it is Joe who is out in front. The jam has come to its end. No points for either team. Stepping up to the line for what will be one of the last jams of this half. We have BAMS and K-Tality. The whistle has been blown. Oh! Bam just kind of skates directly in to Roxy Horror. She keeps on skating though, and Katality is out of the pack. She is skating very low. Bam's communicating with her pack there on the track. Katality sort of dives through the pack and it seems to work. She has picked herself up some points. That is three for the Rogue Scholars, two for the Empire. Next game coming up after this will be another VDL team. We will see the Dishonor Rollers taking on Central Coast Roller Derby United. Hopefully for that, I will be joined by one of the benchies for this game, uh, Enigma. We've got Joe jamming for the Empire up against Poonie, number 129. Joe is out as lead, and I'm just going to take this time to say, please, just, just look at her skate, because it's just the most beautiful thing. She has this stance that, that puts fear in every person that she is within glancing distance of. It's incredible. That is a nice five points picked up by the Empire there. And there has been a star pass. We see Hot Blocks, number 420, being knocked out at the last minute by Sugar Hits, who has been playing an amazing game today, might I add. Joe glides through on the inside, though, in the last second, picks up three, four more points for the Empire. That is the last jam of this half. We have 15 minutes to go get ourselves some coffee, some orange juice. My toast has gone cold, I've just discovered. Uh, the, score do, the scores do sit on 81 for the Empire, 55 for the Rogue Scholars. I will read to you your team names if you give me one second. Skating for the... You know what? You can see me fumbling through here. That's terrible. Skating for the Rogue Solar today, we have Roxy Horror, Ho Hell Yeah, Brazen Ivy, Fast and Furiosa, Madame Lash, K, Tality, Bob and Weaver, Hot Blocks, Half, -blood Prince Half Bloody Princess, Franny, Hayes, M Dash, and Cross Weaver. And for the Empire, we have Violet Crumbler, Lady Wreck, Silent Surprise, Hissy Fit, Joe, Hype, Bailey Edge, Bionic Bambi, Cat Fink, Sugar Hits, Intravenous De Milo, Bad Wolf, and Thunderbutt. I have been Trixie Holden. I will speak to you in about 10 minutes. I'm 
welcome Judge Booty. We are the VR, the Virgin Regime. We are a worldwide collective of queer skaters, their allies and their supporters. Roller derby is an inclusive sport. No matter how you identify or who you love, there is a team near you who will welcome you with loving arms and massive bruises. Welcome back. We have Bad Wolf stepping up to the Jammer Line for the Empire. And we've got a ooh, Rogue Scholars Jammer in the bin. We've got Bad Wolf down for injury. Medics are attending to her. She will be okay. We would like to take this time to say a great big thank you to our sponsors. Better Bearings has upgraded our audio kit, so if you have anyone to complain to about listening to my voice, it is Better Bearings. We would like to say a huge thank you to them uh, for allowing us to do so many great things. We really appreciate it. We have got Bad Wolf standing once again. And we've got the Southside Derby Dolls Empire taking a knee. She is returning to the bench now. The game will continue. Big claps all around. It is, a, it is a full contact game, Roller Derby. There are spills as well as thrills. Everyone's returning back to the track now. We have Hot Block still sitting in the penalty box. Meaning this will be a power jam. We have Joe, number 212, having a power jam for the Empire. Five seconds. Will be called. There we go. Joe is being held back by Katality. She makes her pass her hips. Some beautiful help from her teammates there. She makes it through as lead jammer. Hoplox is standing. She has stashed the star. Katality with the pivot stripe on her helmet. Hoplox back on the track. Five points picked up by Joe. Hoplox. Ooh, that was very loud. My apologies. Hoplox comes around. She makes it past the butt of Thunderbutt. Puts that star back on her helmet. Joe getting ready and she does call it. Fantastic job listening to her benchies there. They do know all those benchies. It was a high five there from Chez. Jamming now, we see Bionic Bambi up against the Fast and the Furiosa. Fast and the Furiosa will be helping us out. She is part of the Down Under Derby crew. She will be helping us out later on in this tournament. She's one of our fantastic camera people. You want to talk? I'm about to be joined by the wonderful Sasha Fierce, if I can get this microphone across to her. Hi, guys. Did you turn it on? I did turn it on, and I believe that we have lead jammer to the Rogue Scholars, the Fast and the Fury. Wait. The Furiosa. Yeah, Furiosa up against Purple 3 4 Bambi for S2D2. Furiosa holds it off at the last second. No points picked up by Bambi. Got Katality stepping up to the line for the Rogue Scholars. And number 212, Joe. Joe for S2D2. 
I'd like to shout out to 5446 Franny. It is her debut game today. That is very exciting. We've got a couple of debuts today, don't we? I think so. Joe darts to the inside. She darts to the outside. She is uh, held back by Hot Blocks, number 420, and she takes it to the inside. She has Bob and Weaver to get past. She does. She makes it, but that is... And Katality takes lead for the Rogue Scholars. Joe about a quarter of a lap behind with an incredible stride. <laughs> and she calls off the jam. One point there picked up by the Rogue Scholars. They now sit 56 to the Empire's 91. We've got Bam stepping up to the line. Up again. Number N nine. nine. That is M Dash. M Dash. I haven't seen M Dash Jam this game. However, I do know she is a fantastic skater. Oh, wow. Look at that inside line work. She is sabotaged by Hissy Fitz. Fan oh. Bams takes lead for Southside. Fantastic control and awareness there by M Dash. She's very, very good on her toe stops. She is. Look at that line work. I mean, meanwhile, Bams comes through on a scoring pass. She takes a point. Thanks to Intravenous De Milo holding up the blocker. She goes around the outside, picks up five points for Southside. And uh, Stash and the Star there getting ready to pass it to uh, Brazen Ivy, number 1618. Bams comes through on another scoring pass. Five more points to Southside. Star pass is successful. We have a new lead. We have a new jammer for you. That is Brazen, Brazen Ivy. Ivy. One six one eight, and she completes the initial pass. She is through and uh, putting the star on. It takes a lot of dexterity to actually put that <laughs> panty on while you're skating. Bambi picks up four points and calls the jam just in time. Lots of loud cheers from the crowd today. Back on the jam line, we have purple two one two Joe stepping oh, up against Fire the, the Furiosa. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh. Oh, we've got an official timeout, which is brought to you by Better Bearings. If you need Better Bearings, you betcha, you better get two Better Bearings so that you can have Better Bearings. Time out is also brought to you by Skate Project. We would like to say a huge thank you to Skate Project who have provided the broadband so that you can watch this live from the comfort of your own home or work or car or train the or any other place. <laughs> it's universal. <laughs> I believe that was the end of time out. We have Fury and we have Joe. Looks like everyone is just about ready to go. I love it when there's a very slight delay in the whistle because everyone just gets this really intense look on their face. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I am still ready. And then just ready. before it happens, and they're off. They look less ready. <laughs> Joe is zigzagging through Furiosa with their beautiful outside line work. Big hit from Thunder, but doesn't quite keep through. Oh, we go. Sugar hits, knocks out Furiosa. She stashes the star because Joe from Southside has taken lead. Seeing a great deal of really good examples of falling small today. Some devastating hits from Sugar Hits from Southside. Mm. Sugar Hits has been playing an absolutely phenomenal game. She has just knocked people out of the track left, right, and center, and in a, in a completely legal way. And Furiosa has completed her initial pass. Joe is being recycled by number 99, nine, that is Cross Wencher. How environmentally friendly. Oh no, we've lost a toe stop. Oh wow, did you see how far that flew? Yeah, that would be the toe stop of Lady Wreck. 
Oh, no, it's not. She's white toe stop. Someone is missing a toe stop. Looks like she may have tripped on the toe stop. But she's okay. Yes. Whose toe stop is it? <laughs> We've got ourselves an official timeout. Oh, it's, yeah, it is an official timeout. And that's the end of the official timeout. It was brief. But Thank important. you. Better bearings for that timeout. <laughs> All right, five seconds has been called. We have Bambi on the line. Yes, up against Katality. Katality is the captain for the Rogue Scholars. Bambi recycled by Hot Blocks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're okay. That is number seven, seven Hayes with a spectacularly glittery pair of booty shorts there. Bam's coming around out on initial, but it is Kayatality who is entering the pack ready to pick up some points. Oh, she just ducks through there. She ducks through there and calls it off with some fantastic offense by Hayes. And we see Gory Newman, Benchy for Southside, calling an official review. review. Ooh, this official review is brought to you by Skate Project and Better Bearings and the Maitland Roller Derby Junkyard Jerks. I wonder what it's about. They do have one purple blocker in the penalty box, number 100, mm. silent surprise. Oh, I think this might be about Lady Wreck. I think she's about to request uh, a low block. Oh, right. Well, thank you for having me. I'm going to head over to track two where SRDL are up against BCR. You can check that out later when you watch it back on our stream. Thank you so much for joining me, Sasha. I will get to call a game with you later in the evening. See you later. See ya. That was Sasha Fierce for Down Under Derby TV. I am now left alone in an official review. It's my worst nightmare. got the wonderful Biffy Miffy skating past, ready for her game, ready to take on uh, the CRDL skaters, I believe. She skated past in some fantastic skate project hot pants, which you can go and check out yourself on Facebook at Skate Project. That's SK8 Project on Facebook. Or if you happen to be on the Central Coast this weekend, you can come and check them out live and in person. We've still got that official review. I am going to go and duck into the middle and find out what it's about. I'll put on some music for you. Because that's another thing that Skate Project has provided. The ability to play music. Maybe. So I heard none of that. However, it looks like they will not be keeping their official review. Five seconds has been called. Yes, the Empire have lost their official review. We have got Brazen Ivy out as your lead jammer for the Rogue Scholars with Joe held up by the Half Bloody Princess there. Still out on initial. We've got Brazen about to re enter the pack to pick up some points. She glides past the hips of Bailey Edge and Thunderbutt. She has one skater to go. That is number 555. Five, five. Sugar hits. She knocks her directly out of the track. And oh, it looks like she was forced to recycle there. Re enter. No oh, apologies. Brazen calling it off, picking up two points for herself. Two points, though, picked up by the Empire. They now sit on 114 to the Rogue Scholars, 63.
We have just got, we have got just over 21 minutes left in this half, in this game. Game one, track one, day one of the East Coast Invitational here. The beautiful Niagara Park Stadium on the Central Coast. Hosted by the Central Coast Roller Derby United. You will be able to check them up out in the next game of the Valkyries. Up against the VDL Dishonor Rollers. Bionic Bambi coming up. She ooh, takes down Hayes, and that was very much so a back block. Bams being sent to the penalty box. Think about what she has done, which means that we have a 30 second power jam to the fast and the Furiosa. She is struggling against the wall. She has intravenous to Milo to get past. She makes it through. She puts that star back on her helmet. She is not your lead jammer. This, this jam will go for the full two minutes. Fast and the Furiosa saying she wants it faster and probably more furious. That is a nice five points there, though, picked up by her. The scores drastically changing. Bam's about to re-enter the track for the Empire. That 30 seconds went real fast. Fast and Furiosa, though, making it back into the pack. She has hypes and hissy fit to get past. Bam's out. She picks up five points for the Empire. Fury, though, coming around. Jam will go for another 30 seconds, still five points to each skater. I don't think that's how maths works, guys. I could be wrong. Oh, that was something. Bams comes around though, she picks up three points. No pass, no penalty on one of them skaters. Four points though for Fast and the Furiosa. Their score drastically increasing. That is a 14 point jam to the Rogue Scholars. Eight points to the Empire. Scores now sit 81 to 125. We've got an official timeout. Hmm? Thank you. That was fantastic man's laughter coming past. Just to double check that I was okay and that I didn't need a break or anything. It is still terribly early in the morning over here. It is 11.03 a.m. That doesn't sound early, but it is for me. We have Katality stepping up to the jammer line up against someone with a very low skating stance. That is Silent Surprise, I think. Yes, it is. That is number 108, Silent Surprise, jamming for the Empire. She takes a lovely dive, picks herself right back up. Katality, though, just ducking and weaving through that pack like there is no tomorrow picks up four points and calls it off i would like to add that vdl are the most prepared league i have ever come across every time i call one of their games they hand me this beautiful folder full of information about their skaters and if you happen to be a league listening to this there is nothing I love more than folders full of information. Or just folders in general. If they're color-coded, you're my new best friend. Got Brazen Ivy stepping up to the line for the Rogue Scholars. Up against Joe, who is your lead jammer for the South Side Derby Dolls, the Empire. We see Hypes being sent to the box for a something. Both pivots are in the box right now. Got Joe coming around for a nice five points there for the Empire.
intravenous to Milo, the one to pass. Brazen Ivy coming through. She knows that she's done something wrong. She recycles herself way back. Comes around to pass through there legally. Got Hypes re-entering the track there along with number 420 Hot Blocks. Raisin Ivy is being tended to by the medical staff. Looks like she may have hurt her abdomen there. This is a fantastic time to say another huge thank you to all of our sponsors for this weekend skate project for providing us with the ability to stream this live to you from the comfort of your own home, slash car, slash train, park, wherever you choose to watch Derby. We'd also like to say a huge thank you to Better Bearings for upgrading our audio equipment, yes? For giving us the ability to be heard. It's a good ability. Got a fantastic shot of the Skate Project stall over there. If you happen to be on the Central Coast this weekend, come out and check them out for yourselves. Getting a lovely shot of a trash can and now some skaters. So we've got it all here. Trash cans, skaters. We've got the Kingston City Rollers coming up here from Victoria with a small but mighty team. They will be playing in Division 2 later today. Got some fantastic dancing there. And I'm going to cut to some music. Raisin Ivy has returned to her bench. She is standing. This official timeout will go for just a little bit longer. Give everyone a chance to catch their breath and then we will be back underway. That whistle tells me that things are happening again. We have Bam stepping up to the line for the Empire. Also up on the line for the Empire, we have Hypes, Bailey Edge, Sugar Hits, and Hissy Fit. And for your Rogue Scholars, putting on the star, we have the Fast and the Furiosa, and as your blockers. We're always very happy to have medics who are on site and very, just, just saying, we love our medics. Um, we're just checking out for a potential rig injury. You don't have to say that. Thank you to Axiomatic just to let me know that, just for letting me know that she is okay. They are checking her out for a potential injury. We'd also like to say a huge thank you to the medics. Um, we, we love our medics. And if you are a medic and you'd like to come to our games and watch our games and also look after our skaters, that would be greatly appreciated by everybody here. We have the Fast and the Furiosa as your lead jammer. She is letting the pack know to speed it up. We have Bams hot on her heels though. Fast and the Furiosa. Ooh, gliding through, taking a knee, maybe one point? No, no points for either teams there, but what a jam. We would like to say a huge thank you to all of our officials who make this entire weekend happen. There is just so much work that goes on, off track as well as on track. Skaters only skate for up to two minutes at a time. The uh, officials do not stop. Five seconds has been called. We have uh, Bad Wolf jamming for the Empire up against Kay Tality for the Rogue Scholars. 
Fatality makes it past. The hips of Sugar hits. She comes through. She is your lead jammer. Bad Wolf being knocked to the outside right in front of the commentator's box. She glides past Hop Locks and makes it through on initial, but Fatality is coming through. She slams into that wall and pulls it off, picking up three points. That Rogue Scholar score is starting to creep up on the Empire. Fast and Figurious are putting the star back on her helmet. A fantastically high rotation jammer up against another very familiar name and face. We have number 212 Joe. Five seconds has been called. And the Fast and Furious ducks around the outside, but Hizzy Fit is having none of that. She knocks her down for a second. It is not enough to deter Fast and Furious. So she is out as your lead jammer. We have Joe, though, coming past number 99. Nine. That is Cross Wencher. She knocks Cross Wencher down, and she comes out past the hips of the Half Bloody Princess. She is out on initial, but the Fast and Furious has re entered and exited that pack, picking up some points for herself and calling it off. Delightful. We have just under 15 minutes left in this half. We see the fantastic CRDL skaters coming past the commentator's box, ducking under the camera. There's nothing I enjoy more than seeing the skaters try and duck under the camera and becoming these little tiny balls on wheels. It's great. I think we should all play roller derby like that. I would pay good money to see that actually. We have Katality stepping up to the line against Fams, who is your lead jammer for the Empire. Katality, though, about half a lap behind. No, a qu quarter of a lap, if that, behind. She is gaining on her quickly. Fams looks at her Benchy to see to call it off. Katality is smiling. She is right behind her. She ducks around in front, and Fams calls it off. No points to either skater. Looks like there might have been a bit of a high block there up against Hayes. Maybe. No one's being sent off for it, though. It may have just been an accident. We have the Fast and the Furiosa again for the Rogue Scholars up against Bad Wolf. Fast and Furiosa ducks around the inside, steps over that apex and picks up lead jammer for the Rogue Scholars. We've got a uh, bad wolf battling behind the hips of the half bloody princess. She is out of the pack, but the Fast and Furiosa is on a scoring trip, a phrase I have not used today so far, and I really should. She hops over a couple of skaters there. That was absolutely phenomenal. She picks up some more points. That Rogue Scholars score is really starting to creep up on the Empire. Who did pick up one point in that, I'd like to add. Joe and Katality, both on the jammer line. Got incoherent but excited cheering coming from the Southside Derby Dolls cheer squad over there. Katality out as your lead jammer, but Joe is a couple of feet behind her. They are both fantastically fast skaters, those two. Katality steps over the inside. She calls it off, but not in time. Two points picked up by Joe. None to the Rogue Scholars. We have Bionic Bambi stepping up to the line up against the Half-Bloody Princess, maybe? One of those, yes, Half-Bloody Princess. Ooh. Sugar Hits and Bailey Edge. And Lady Wreck really giving the Half-Bloody Princess a run for her money there. 
And it is Bams who comes out as your lead jammer for the Southside Derby Dolls. Half Bloody Princess is out about half a lap behind. Bams ducking through the inside. Some fantastic offense there. Lady Rec keeping the Rogue Scholars pack to the outside so that Bams could duck through the inside there and pick up some points for herself. One point apiece, actually. Scores do sit 140 to 97. We have just under 10 minutes left in this half. And we have Bad Wolf stepping up the line up against Katality. Five seconds has been called. Both teams are getting down incredibly low. Both of these the both of these jammers are very tall skaters, actually, especially Katality. She picks up lead jammer. Bad Wolf being knocked over for a second there, but she she makes it through. Fantastic assist there. Intravenous de Milo keeping those blockers at bay. Katality steps through. Four points there for the Rogue Scholars. One for the Empire. That one hasn't moved. Oh. I'm looking at the wrong thing. We have a fantastic new scoreboard here designed by a wonderful flat track protocol. And I, I have not used it before. So I've only had half a coffee today. So the fact that I am speaking and making sentences, I mean, that in itself is a fantastic feat. One day though, I will read the scoreboard correctly. The scores do sit, though, at 140 to 101. The Rogue Scholars, having finally passed that 100-point mark, they have called themselves a timeout, as indicated by our fantastic scoreboard. They themselves have one timeout left, as well as their official review. The Empire, though, only one timeout left for them. Teams are running back to the track now. The Fast and the Furiosa with the star back on her helmet up against Joe. Five seconds has been called. Joe pacing back and forth like a lion in her den. I don't know if that's a good analogy. It sounded really good in my head. <laughs> the Fast and the Furiosa ducks around the outside. She is held up by Silent Surprise and gives Joe a second to pick up lead jammer for herself, Fast and the Furiosa though, a fast and furious skater. She is hot on her heels. Bailey Edge doing a fantastic job at wiping out the opponents. She knocked Hoplox and Puni out of the track, although taking herself down in the process. Two points there for the Empire. Okay, Tyler is stepping up to the line for the Rogue Scholars. Bams back on the line for the Empire. Very exciting first game for day one of the East Coast Invitational. We have Bams ducking through in the first few seconds. She has lead Jammer. We have Katality though stuck behind Silent Surprise. Nope. No. I'm wrong. That's Hissy Fit. The track. The pack is speeding up. Bams passes one skater, picks up that one point and calls it off. It's all about that one point game. Seven minutes left in this game and we have Bad Bull stepping up to the line up against K. Nope, first in the Furiosa. It was one of the two. 
five seconds has been called. And an official timeout. A timeout for officials. We are just repairing the track a little bit. We may be the only sport that I know that literally creates their own track every game. We would like to say a huge thank you to all of our officials who come here super early in the morning and literally with, ra with rope and tape create the entire track that dictates the game we play. Lead Jammer goes to the Fast and the Furioso, but Bad Wolf stuck in that pack. She is knocked out by the Half-Bloody Princess. She picks herself right back up, though. Re-enters that terrifying four wall. Some fantastic blocking there. Half-Bloody Princess keeping all of her skaters in check. A fantastic pivot, but that is Bailey Edge coming in to destroy, obliterate, if you will, that wall. Fast and the Furiosa ducks through. She gives a shoulder to Lady Wreck. It is super effective. She picks up five points for the Rogue Scholars. We have six minutes left in this game, and it is absolutely still anybody's game. The Fast and the Furiosa coming around again for another scoring pass. It looks like Bad Wolf has been sent through the box. This is a power jam. Fast and the Furiosa being sent off for a back block. My apologies. That is Bad Wolf being sent back onto the track. Pack is speeding up quite a bit there. She ducks to the outside. And then to the inside. That is her initial pass. This jam will go for the full two minutes. Fast and the Furious are back on the track now. Intravenous to Milo and Lady Wreck. Keeping Fast and the Furious at bay, they are joined by Hissy Silent Surprise. No? Yes, Silent Surprise. Bad Wolf is out for four points to the Empire. Fast and the Furious, though, also out. That is four points to them. The jam has reached its natural conclusion. The scores do sit 115 to 147. We have four and a half minutes left in this game. Kate Halliday stepping up to the line for the Rogue Scholars up against Joe. And uh, hey, Southside, 2005 called. They want their pivot line start back. Both jammers are going to get themselves a little bit of a run up there, which is Clearly a very good thing for Joe, who makes it out as your lead jammer, Kate Halliday, being recycled and held back by Hissy Fit. She makes her way back through that pack. Hissy Fit and hypes the ones to pass. A fantastic shirt whip there. Kate Halliday through on the inside and now to the outside. This has been five points though, picked up by the Empire. Kate Halliday is knocked down for a second there on that third turn. She picks herself back up. One, two, three, fourth turn. Kate Halliday being sent off for, no. Penalty being given to Joe, meaning it is now a power jam for Kate Halliday. She makes it through on the inside. She passes the hips of Thunderbutt. She is out on initial. Kate Halliday has been a fantastically high rotation jammer this game. Between her and the Fast and the Furiosa. I, I would love to see their statistics at the end of this game. We have Kate Halliday re-entering that solid south, wall, south side pack. Joe back on the track. She ducks through the inside. They weren't even looking at her. She makes it through and picks up some points. A little bit of jammer on jammer action. Kate Halliday looking a little bit tired, but she puts on the heat. Five points to the Rogue Scholars. Yeah. 
Another few points picked up there. That is four for the Empire. Another extra point there by the Rogue Scholars. The scores do sit 160 to 121. A 13 point jam to the Empire. We have two minutes left in this game. And we see Brazen Ivy, maybe? I think so. Brazen Ivy stepping up to, no, that is Hot Blocks. That is Hot Blocks stepping up to the line for the Rogue Scholars up against Bionic Bambi for the Empire. We have a minute 40 left in this game. And Hoplox is out as your lead jammer. Bionic Bambi. Ooh, being knocked out by the Half-Bloody Princess. She picks herself back up though, and she is out of there. Hoplox back into the pack. She has a three wall of Southside to get past. She does, she makes it through. She picks up the four points and she calls it off. We will have one more jam. So I'm gonna say that <laughs> the Rogue Scholars cheer squad kind of want to call a timeout. And I say that because I've never heard someone in the crowd scream they want a timeout so loudly. The Rogue Scholars, believe it or not, have called a timeout. No one saw this coming. Coming up next, we will see VDL take the track one more time with the Dishonor Rollers, their A team, the Creme de la Creme, up against the CCRDU Valkyries. I'm never sure if I pronounce Valkyries right, but I'm going to stick with it for now. We have a fantastic NSOs over there. Having very serious, very important conversations. The timeout has ended. We have seconds left to go. That timeout is over. I've developed the hiccups. I am a professional announcer. Clearly. Katality and Bad Wolf standing on the line together for the last time, maybe. Having a bit of a chat before the whistle is blown, but now the whistle has gone and uh, Katality ducks around the outside. She has sugar hits to beat and it looks like four arms, four sugar hits. There is lead jammer to the Rogue Scholars. They could still physically win this game. Bad Wolf being sent off for a penalty. That is a... I didn't see. I was too captivated by Katality who has re-entered that pack she glides past Hypes. She takes a spill. Katality being checked if she's okay by the Southside girls. We have an official review, hopefully, called by the Rogue Scholars. The uh, Dishonor Rollers really passionate about this. Guys, call, call it, call it, call it, call it. Are you gonna call it? Oh, that's the unofficial score. That was the unofficial score. Yes, that was the unofficial score. <laughs> Five points picked up in that last jam by the Rogue Scholars. That is the whistle that says that the things are over. The points now sit 130 to the Rogue Scholars, but it is the South side Derby Dolls Empire who are your champions for today for the Varsity Derby League Rogue Scholars we have Roxy Horror Hell Yeah Brazen Ivy Fast and the Furiosa Madam Lash Katality Bob and Weaver Hot Blocks Half Bloody Princess Franny Hayes M Dash and Cross Wencher but your victors for this first game of day one track one of the East Coast Invitational we have the South Side Derby Dolls Empire we have Violet Crumbler Lady Rex Silent Surprise Hissy Fit Joe Hypes Bailey Edge, Bionic Bambi, Cat Fink, Sugar Hits, Intravenous De Milo, Bad Wolf, and Thunderbutt. Stick around for the Dishonor Rollers up against the Valkyries. Game two, I have been Trixie Heldon. I will see you in a very short amount of time.